Hello and welcome to this week's Ask Charlie. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and to ring the bell to be notified of my weekly videos. The more the merrier. So this week I thought I'd do something a little bit different, not a how-to, but actually share with you my top 10 podcast recommendations. And I get really excited about podcasts, mainly because I see them as a treat which might sound a bit, a bit weird, but stick with me. So when I've got a job that, you know, I don't really want to go and clean a bathroom and I don't really want to go and poo pick and I don't really want to go and hoover or dust or change beds or whatever, but I put my earpods in and put a good podcast on and it's a treat to listen to something that I know that I'm going to enjoy or get something from and tackle a job that I, you know, is mundane and pretty dull and boring. So that's how I view podcasts as a treat and I think right great I can poop it because I can listen to that episode. So my top 10, I couldn't condense it to five, I tried to. So the first one is How to Fail with, with Elizabeth Day. Elizabeth Day is a brilliant journalist and her podcast is brilliant because it's turning negatives into positives, which I'm all about. And she interviews different celebrities, different, um, all sorts of different people, a wide selection of people. And it's really fascinating, it's really interesting, and it, you get to see a different side to them. So that is my number one. I also, during lockdown, um, her, her episode with Mo Gaudat was just phenomenal, and I've shared it with you guys before, but it's just, it's helped so many people. So. Elizabeth Day is my number one. Then The High Low with Pandora Sykes and Dolly Alderton. It's brilliant, it's lighthearted, it's fun, it's varied. There's you know book reviews, podcast reviews, chat about what's going on in the world at the moment, whatever it is, but it's always great. And they are just, the two of them together are brilliant. So that is my second one. My third recommendation is Castaway with Laura Whitmore and she's interviewing people about their podcast recommendations <laughs> and I'm here chatting to you a lot about my podcast recommendations but actually there's really um, interesting people that she chats to and it's not just about their podcast recommendations recommendations it's about all sorts of other things as well but it's really great and light-hearted easy to listen to and an hour easily kind of slips by and you've done that job grounded with Louis Theroux so he started this at the beginning of lockdown he's done um, I'm pretty sure it's 10 episodes I think I think we had the final one uh, I think we've had the final one it's brilliant Louis is just the best at interviewing people he knows when to do this silence this pause and he really makes the person that he's interviewing think about it he's really clever his technique he's hilariously funny and grounded with Louis through I can highly recommend my next on the, on the list is honestly with Clemmy Telford Clemmy is really um, great, light-hearted, again, interesting people that she's chatting to, and she, it's, it's all about honesty, which is brilliant. I'm a big, big believer in being honest and, um, and you know, sharing things with people, you know, whether it's struggling or, or whatever it is, but honestly is um, a great podcast with Clemmy. Then this is a little bit of a different one. Pacific Rim College with Todd Howard. Now actually a really old school friend of mine um, has been interviewed on this podcast and he shared the link with me, which is how I found it and how I got to know about it. His um, interview, so he's called Dan Hayes and Dan is just the, a really, really incredible guy and I have such happy memories of him at school and listening to this, um, I was actually driving down to Wiltshire when I listened to it, it just actually blew my mind um, listening to him and all the amazing things that he has achieved. But that then led me, I got to know about the podcast, it led, led me on to le listen to other episodes. I'm struggling to get my words out today. And really interesting topics, quite a lot of sort of health related, food, body, mind, but really can highly recommend it. I haven't listened to one yet that I thought, oh God, that was pretty dull. So. Pacific Rim College, uh, Victoria Island, Vancouver. 
And then we move on to Feel Better, Live More with Dr. Rongin Chatterjee. I'm not sure I pronounced that properly. It's quite a, quite a tricky one. But he's got a really beautiful voice. He is all about feeling well, living your best life. He interviews some really fascinating people and it's, it's always, his podcast is food for thought. I get something um, out of every episode, I come away sort of either pretty mind blown or just has opened my eyes to a different, a different angle on something or, or whatever it might be. But his podcast is brilliant and it's been going for, for a long time. So there are lots of episodes and can highly recommend it. Then I'm moving on to Give Me Strength with Alice Living. Now this is not all about the muscles, it's about inner strength on the whole, but she's interviewing different people about um, their strength and what gives them you know, the strength and the courage to overcome whether it's been an accident, um, a tragedy, some, something in their life that has um, made them have to be strong and to overcome and to succeed in in a new path or new vein or whatever it might be but it's really fascinating she interviews them great people and yeah I, I every episode I come away feeling um, like I've really got something out of it I often cry actually listening to her podcast it's very emotional and I think inner strength is something that um, yeah, it's really important. Anyway, I'm waffling on about that. Then the next one is Unlocking Us with Brene Brown. She's an amazing, amazing woman and speaks to so many diverse people about so many different things. Her podcast is brilliant and she is brilliant. So I can highly recommend listening to that. And, you know, she's she's should be up there so at the top of the list, but some of them are really quite deep and I have to concentrate. And sometimes you just want something a little bit more lighthearted because I often find myself when I'm mucking out, stopping and repeating because my mind just needs to focus and listen to it again, I think is what I'm trying to say. It's often sort of very deep and thoughtful, but I have got a lot out of it. And then last but not least, the Janet Murray show with Janet Murray. I'm quite new to this. Um, Janet Murray is, brilliant at sort of marketing and business and and that sort of thing but the episodes I've listened to so far have been really interesting I do listen and I haven't included any of them apart from this one on my list I do listen to quite a lot of businessy type of podcasts you know learning how to do things while I'm while I'm working so I'm kind of educating myself at the same time but I haven't shared that list with you because I think you might find it a bit boring happy to though but um yeah so janet murray the janet murray show is really great and i can highly recommend so i hope that you have enjoyed my top 10 podcast recommendations i hope you have a great week thank you as ever for tuning in and I'll catch up with you soon